Hi everyone, and welcome to the CHC Navigation. My name is Eric. Today, I'm going to help you run through the process of the i89 kit unboxings. And now, let's take a closer look at this product together. The i89 kit consists of the following components. i89 Junior SS receiver, HC600 handheld controller, UHF whip antenna, auxiliary tool, Android stylus, controller bracket, Type-C USB cable, different power adapter standards for different aerials, and the range pole is packaged independently. The CHC Navigation has always focused on its high quality of the product, but it's inevitable to encounter some of the unexpected situations on the transportation. So when we first get the product, we need to check if the product can be turned on normally. We need to come out to an uncovered outdoor area. Now press the power button and the IE9 will be turning on. And the IE9 will be tracking satellites. The number of times that the tracking satellites flashes represents how many satellites is tracked. If the tracking guys blink like this, it means that your instrument is normal. IE9 has two ports. One port for charging and the other is for the UHF antenna. And I will show you how to use them. For more convenient charge, the port is a Type-C port. Connect the Type-C USB cable with the power adapter and plug the power adapter into the socket. Power wattage requirement is 100 to 240. Plug the Type-C cable into the i89 and you can directly charge the i89. It takes 3 hours to fully charge the i89 if you are using the 18 watts charger. And to fully charge the i89 can work at least 9 to 22 hours depends on the work mode. You can directly use the power bank to supply the i89 power. Charging requirement is 5V and 2N to 3N. Here is the charging indicator of the i89. It has the lightning statues of the i89. The power indicator is solid orange during charging. Other indicators flash in turn, and the power indicator turns green when fully charged. The power indicator is solely red during the using. The power indicator flashes right when the power is off. When you need to transfer data, you can directly use the Type-C port to connect it to your computer and complete the data transfer. This is a TNC port. Connect the UHF whip antenna here and we can receive the radio signal. The R89 kit comes with the high frequency antennas. If you have your own device, we can also customize the full frequency antennas for you. Before you work, please don't forget to check the handheld controller HC600. All work relies on the NSTAR software installed on the HC600. This is the power button of the HC600. Press and hold on to check whether the device can boot normally. Now we enter the Bluetooth connection interface of the HC600 from the status bar. Click Pair New Device. There is an SN number on the bottom label of the i89, and the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi name of the i89 will be displayed as the SN number. The Bluetooth and Wi-Fi of the receiver will be displayed as the SN of the receiver. Then we can find the correct SN and connect it to it. After we done the pairing, we can click this button to connect. Now we enter the HC600 with connection interface from the status bar. Find the i89's Wi-Fi and click connect. After the connection, status is displayed here. This is a Type-C port of the HC600, which can be used for charging and copying data. We recommend using the standard adapters for charging and data copying. Another accessory is the auxiliary tool, which can help you measure the snap height of the receiver. Before we go to work, we need to assemble the i89 and other accessories together. Connect the i89 with the range pole. Connect the i89 with the UHF whip antenna. Connect the HC600 with the bracket. Connect the bracket with the range pole. Now, the i89 is ready for survey work. This is the whole content for today's video. If you want to learn more about the i89 and the other CHC navigation products, please subscribe to this channel, and we will keep uploading it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.